Hi, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and we're back for part three of this jewelry jar. And I thought be, uh, I would uh, show you something I did um, while I was waiting to do the last section here. I think I'm going to use this bag. It's bigger. So this is, was the um, stretchy bracelet. Whoops. This was the stretchy bracelet that uh, I thought was probably tiger eye. And I shouldn't have taken the lid off yet. This is one of my um, jewelry funnel or bead funnels that I make out of uh, flat uh, cough syrup or whatever bottles. So anyway, I, I undid this. And as I undid the, the stretchy bracelet, I just let all the beads um, or chips fall in there. So then I can show you how easy it is to pour them into a bag. So this is just a cough syrup bottle with the top cut off. And it makes a great little bead funnel. Whoops, there's a piece I missed. A couple that didn't fit in the bag. Anyway, I keep finding them in the jar as well. And then the lid just puts on like that. So I have a Maker's Monday video out about that. So while I was waiting, I also uh, took a look at... Um, all of the earrings that I had found and so I thought I'd give you um, a look at the earrings and then we'll finish off the jar because there's still more things in the jar so you might remember in the second half I found this cute little cat pin well here are earrings that go with it they're so what a cute little set um, that's amazing. That's a beautiful little set of jewelry. These look like vintage earrings. Look by how the uh, the back is um, molded so that it fits into the plastic. And that's really like a vintage type of earring design. Um, sort of the marbled green. Love those. Just love those. These look like... Uh, you would wear them at Christmas like candy cane earrings. They're beautiful. They're an excellent shape. I like the uh, the way that the the uh, back part is integrated. And I didn't don't see. I'm looking to see if I can see a name in there. Don't see any name on them. Those are gorgeous. Not something I would actually wear. I don't hoops don't hang very well on my ears. They kind of they end up sticking out like this. That's maybe just my head. And here's another pair of vintage earrings, uh, not vintage, here's another pair of Christmas earrings, poinsettias, and they're a type of molded plastic, they're very light, or maybe resin, very lightweight, but in excellent shape. Um, then there was this pair of pierced earrings, very pretty with the enamel, almost like a little hat, enamel and pearls. So that's just one, two, three, four, five. There's tons here. There's this pair of post earrings. Again, a, a type of resin, but really pretty. Six. Um, this pair, lightweight. So just, you know, acrylic. Post earrings again, seven. These and other post earrings um, of sort of a black and gold. So that's nine, I guess. Um, these ones that uh, I think they're meant to mimic um, power shells, abalone. They're just, uh, well, or maybe they are real shells. It's hard to tell. Anyway, they feel like they have a heavy resin coating on them. That's probably what it is. But those are very pretty as well. So we're at it's a nine. Um, these aren't earrings. These are shoe clips. Look at the little uh, the daggers in the back there. What are they? What's the name on them? Are these bluette? Sorry. Yeah, bluette. Made in France. Oh, that's uh, a good name. Very good name.
And those are very pretty. I'll have to dot that down, bluette, for uh, so I don't forget. Um, these earrings uh, match this necklace that we saw, I think, in part one. So there's a set, and this was the um, the ones that was the one that was marked caracol but I'll be looking that up. So there's a nice little set. There, there are so many earrings, I can't, I've lost track. So these lovely little um, hooks with the little rhinestone balls. Um, here's a pair of tassel earrings in excellent shape. Nice red, the red tassels. Um, these look like another pair of uh, sort of vintage plastic. I think I have a necklace that these would match. I'll have to go check and see. They're slightly different. This one's whiter. So maybe they aren't really a pair. Um, more uh, pierced Earrings, these feel like ceramic and plastic beads. Uh, a pair of knot earrings, silver knots. It's always nice to have pairs. Those ones are in excellent shape. This pair is marked. Um, oh, right. This is a crown. At least that's what I thought it looked like, was a crown sort of shape, but it's hard to get it to focus. Let's see what the other one looks like. Yeah, the other one's easier to see. A crown with sort of a fish in it. Maybe it's a fish underwater and then the copyright symbol. That one's much more clear than this one. This one's... Well, there you can kind of see it on the side. So there's the symbol. I'll have to look that up. And these are quite pretty. Um, so the sort of the guilloche technique where the enamel has texture in the back and then there's enamel on the front. Those are very, very pretty. This is, um, I thought this was an odd design. I, I Maybe, I don't know. I didn't think it was very attractive. They're very lightweight. But maybe on it, it wouldn't matter. These are uh, great everyday earrings. Not marked, but very nice uh, sort of uh, flat silver tone. Here's another pair of hoops. With the uh, sort of spiraling wire around them. Pair of, I assume, faux pearls. They um, feel a little cold. They might be glass. It's always a nice color to have. This is a cute little pair of pierced earrings with a little tiny bit of enamel in them, sort of a peachy color, no marking. These are interesting. These are on cork, of all things, and they're little cats. I don't know if somebody made them, if they're handmade from polymer or what, but aren't those adorable, those little cats? They're just so cute. Um, pair of uh, sort of classic pearls with the gold rim, not marked. These um, feel like leather. Uh, no idea if they are or not. I 
Some people can smell and tell if they're leather by the smell, but I can't tell. I think it's just textured leather, you know, where they print, um, stamp it. These are ceramic, pretty, pretty uh, ceramic beads on hooks. I don't think I've ever had this many pairs of earrings in one jar. I've already lost count of how many pairs we, whoops. Um, here's green ones, little nice little sort of mint green not marked and then there's the peachy ones in the squares not marked um, and there's this pair of blue ones I like this pretty blue sort of cat's eye again not marked this little green ones they're pretty with the crystals and the beads and the little silver findings. Very nice. Um, two little happy face earrings. These are kind of cool. They're heavy. Sun, moon, and stars. Very nice. They are heavy, but I think they'd be nice to wear because the heavy part is right up at the ear. And then the dangle is very, very light. So nice sun, moon, and stars. Here's a pair of uh, plastic faceted beads. Classic colors. Oh, maybe they're glass. These, let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, just let me check again. No, no, these aren't plastic. These are glass. They're very cold. They just, they, I'm having trouble telling the weight, but as soon as I put them against my hand, yeah, there's the weight there. there. So those are nice, beautiful, classic, uh, nice faceted glass beads. These I thought were really cool. These look more old fashioned. There, they go this way. But aren't those a nice design with the rhinestones and the pearls? And those are a pierced earring. Look how big the butterfly clutches are. But very nice. Very nice. Very well made. Oh! <laughs> no wonder the clutches are so big. I didn't realize that's how they work. Oh, look. That's like a... Oh, that'll be cool. Well, that's a really cool pair of earrings then. The fact that the the post could be worn with any back, but I love this back. I wonder if you could wear them up sort of like sideways on your ears too, rather than down below. Very interesting. That's unusual. Um, there's this pair with the little bits of uh, sort of butterscotch colored beads I think those are plastic I don't think they're so there's a pair I'm gonna stop for a second let's see we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, the shoe clips, and the ones we got earlier, um, I think there were five or six earlier pairs. Um, and here we go some more. Um, 33, there's six, okay, 37, these gold hoops in excellent condition. Sort of a double hoop. Um, these little hanging ones. 
think that's a glass bead. 38, those are quite pretty. Um, here's another, a pair of half hoops. And I'm sure there's a back in here that I could put on this one to match. Lots of backs hanging around. This lovely set, the blue and then the, the, the blue faceted stone and then the sort of the multi-reflection rainbow kind of stone and the run the the little rhinestone bead in the middle they're very pretty i think we're at 40 41 oh i forgot to count those blue ones that matched with the necklace would be 42. these ones sort of a loose sight or acrylic 43, um, yellow, 44, we saw this from, one of these from the outside of the jar, these are gorgeous, I don't know if that's plastic, I think that's plastic and not shell, but it's hard to tell, hard for me to tell, anyway, um, this little pair of spirals with a bead, This pair, again, uh, post earrings. This pair almost looks like, uh, at first, as if these are snowflakes, but you can see those are flower designs in there. They're very lightweight, but they'd be very, quite attractive hanging. Um, this may have been a pair of earrings. There's no... Uh, wires on them but there's a pair that match and I think that's it there's a few little bits of uh, I'll wait I'll leave the little singles and odds and ends then there was also um, this apple pin just needs that little scratch buffed up great little lapel pin sort of the, um, the iconic teacher symbol, a scarf clip, not marked, but in excellent condition. Okay, I'm going to just sort of push all the 40 plus pairs of earrings out of the way. I don't think I own that. Well, no, I'm, I probably, I don't certainly don't wear, have I was going to say, I don't think I own that many pair of earrings, but I probably do in my vintage earring collection. Um, this, I have no idea what this is. I, I've never seen a, a thing like this unless it's supposed to be some kind of clip that goes in your hair. Um, two feathers, missing a feather, and then it's got this so I don't know have you ever seen anything like this before any idea how it what it does how it works it's obviously broken from something so there's a couple feathers that could be made into earrings but I don't know anybody who really wears feather earrings um And I'm going to just pull some more stuff out here. This isn't really jewelry, but it's a cute little container with a heart on it. And a, there we go, a little heart. No, Oh, there is a marking. Let's uh, see if we can... Oh, good, seagull! Fine Pewter, Pugwash, Nova Scotia, Canada. Oh, I collect the seagull stuff, the seagull brooches and stuff. Excellent. I wonder how old this is then. Oh, great. Another piece.
Joseph Canadian Seagull. Pewter, I'm thrilled. Well, I'm easily thrilled, but I'm thrilled. That's nice. Um, here's uh, an interesting bracelet. This is kind of cute. It's, uh, you know, that uh, antique bronze or antique cost copper. Looks like it's missing a piece here because there's an extra ring. Yeah, it looks like one of the one of those shapes should have been in between the two flowers. One of those sort of swirl shapes. Are we missing any other pieces? Don't think so. Nice chain. Lobster clasp. Well, except for the missing piece, which you know may yet show up that's not bad i'm sure that it could be um think could be realigned or to uh, uh hide the fact that it's missing a piece or you could also add some little dangly rhinestones or beads to this and bling it up a little bit we'll put that in the repair pile oh when about speaking about repair piles i i glued one of the missing stones back, the one that I found, I'm hoping to find this other missing stone. If I don't, um, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. But anyway, one, it was easy to glue the one back in. Okay, these are, how many of these are there? I'm going to pull these all out together. So there's four of these stretchy bracelets. Um... Is one a different color or is it just worn or let's see. Sometimes these come in sets of two. Well, that's the looks. So two silver, two gold, but that one, one of them, well, maybe it's just the way the, let's see. Oh yeah, there's this thick part that's slightly different. Oh, see how that changes color there? Let's see if the others do that as well. Hmm, that one doesn't exactly change color. Hmm, oh well, I think I'll probably donate those on. Just They just need to be cleaned. Here's a watch, oh it's a pretty watch. Let's see, Ellen Tracy. And it's pretty the band is in excellent condition actually if it if it worked i could donate it on otherwise this would be really great to repurpose into a watch charm because it's got those lovely rhinestones up there okay here's a this is more of a bib necklace than the previous one the green i remember the green one this is uh pink acrylic or plastic beads everything looks to be there but again the chain is really worn so obviously or i don't know if it's going to shine up the whole thing needs some cleaning um when it looks like this it, the chain i don't know looks tired it looks old and worn i don't know if it's supposed to look that color what do you think? I'm trying to get it to show up better in the. Well, it actually, doesn't look worn like the other one looked. Kind of like it would be would rust. This one maybe is supposed to be that color. I'll wash it and see what happens. Here's a a little ring. Ooh. Just a costume ring, but it fits me, so about a seven and a half. A cute little hair barrette with hearts on it. Just one so far. 
Whoa. Oh, look at this. Very noisy. Very large. This is a very light, this is a very heavy chain, but a very lightweight extender. I'm not sure how well that would work. Huge lobster claw. And it has a name on it. Jackie Orr. This is heavy. Okay. This weighs, this weighs eight ounces. That's half a pound. Could you imagine wearing that? Half a pound of glass pearls? That, uh, my neck would be tired in five minutes. Uh, it, it's, it's gorgeous, but it's heavy. Okay. I went and weighed that when I saw it in the jar. So here's a cute little stretchy bracelet, very lightweight, but pretty with the, uh, I don't know. I don't know why one bead over here is sort of lopsided, but these are cute. The fact that there's different colors there. Another bolo. Oh, I like this one. Look at this. Oh, that's stone. Looks like agate with all the banding, though I'm not sure if it is or not. Because there's a type of jasper that gets little orbital pieces like that in it. But, oh, is that ever pretty? I would wish it was not, well, I guess I could take it out and do take it out since it's prong set. Feels like leather. Very stiff bolo. That's nice. Whoa! This is... This is, could be the, oh, I love that. Look at that. Oh, too bad there's that string stick. Oh, is that ever gorgeous? It's cold, 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 cold. But is that ever a gorgeous, stretchy? I, I mean, I'm not really into stretchy bracelets, but this is beautiful. And it's, oh, so repurposable if you didn't want the three wits you can see there's like these alter just alternate back and forth but that's just perfect the way it is oh i love that oh oh dear i love that it's so comfortable <laughs> i'm not taking it off oh it's cold though now here's another little bracelet remember i there, there was another one kind of like this that had square beads that were heavy and these are um, the same color, but they're kind of a pinched bead. And this one has a little logo on it, like a heart with a... So if you know that, if I don't find this out, if you know this maker, let me know. That's very pretty, too. I have to find the one that, I, that, that was in earlier, in the first, I think, the first part of the jar. I bet they're meant to be a pair. That is nice. Oh, wow. I love jewelry jars that deliver. What's this? Oh, you know, that's a cool barrette. Plastic, but distinctive. And I think this is the last piece in the jar, but it's, let's put it out. Oh, this is really sweet. Look at that. Just some little bits hanging down here. They're not all the same. 